Okay, quick video. I'm out of town, so I don't have a normal setup. I'm holding the camera with my with my hand here as, the, as opposed to having it on a light setup. I'm just gonna go over um, how to find augmented six chords in music. Uh, so just to review, augmented six chords are a kind of predominant. We use the augmented six symbol right there. And they're called that because they're usually built on scale degree flat six and sharp four is in there as well. And this makes an augmented six interval right there. And then they have um, scale degree one in them. If you see this, then we call it Italian augmented six. It doesn't actually come from Italy, but they gave it that name. If you see this, so sharp four, flat six, right? Scale degrees, that's where you're using the Corot sign right there. And then in addition to one, you see scale degree two, okay? Then it's called a French augmented six, again, not from France, but they gave it that name. And then the third version, there are actually some other ones that are, are less standardized, and so we don't teach them per se. But if you have flat six and you have sharp four, and you have one, and then you have flat three, again, these are all scale tones, right? Then you have something that's called German augmented six, okay? And uh, what we're, they're predominance, which means they're gonna go to a five chord or a dominant chord of some kind, usually afterwards. And what we wanna do in this very short video is talk about how to find them how to identify them in little tiny excerpts in this packet that I have right here, okay? Um, this is an exercise to get you started identifying and seeing these things. So let's think about what we're looking for here. This is sometimes a chromatic note that we can look for. This is almost always a chromatic note that we can always look for. And we know that they happen as a predominant, so we're looking for five chords and their variants, which could be four, you know, five, seven, seven diminished, seven, or half diminished. And they can also be part of things like one, six, four, five cadences like that as well, okay? So between these two things, we should be able to see them. After you get good at seeing this augmented six interval, you start to see them everywhere. Now, they can be variants and they can be secondary chains and things, but we're just gonna look for them in the key. So how do we do this? First off, we gotta figure out what key we're in, right? If it's a minor key, then flat six is gonna be already in the key signature and if the key signature matches the key that we're in and you're not gonna be able to see that there, but we can still find sharp four. If for some reason we're not in the minor key, we're in a major key or the key signature doesn't match um, the minor key we're in because we're, we're in a different key temporarily, then you might see the flat six as well, and that's a clue. Finally, we go looking for them where we find five chords if we can, okay? All right, let's try this out. I'm gonna look at this Beethoven Bagatelle, and like I said, I'm on the road, I'm at my mom's kitchen table, uh, so we're gonna do these quickly, uh, but it looks like we're in G minor here, right? You can see the half cadence right there. You can see the authentic cadence right there, okay? So if we're in G minor, that means that flat six is E flat and it's already in the key signature. So we're not gonna be able to see that anywhere, but we can look for C sharps because that's sharp four. In my class, we use our solfege and we call that fee. We call it flat six lay and we call C sharp, sharp four fee. Okay, so let's kind of go scanning along here and there's one right there, right? This is a good, good candidate right there because we have a half cadence into a five chord and we know these are predominance. So let's check this out for a minute. There's my E flat. Oh, I'm going fuzzy here. Here we go. Here's my E flat and there's my C sharp. So that's flat six, that's sharp four, and that's scale degree one. And it doesn't have any other notes in it. So this is the simple one called Italian. And we literally just mark it in here and go Italian six, right? Augmented six like that and then to five, okay? And there we go. For this purposes of this assignment, I'm not gonna try and analyze everything else, okay? Is there anywhere else where there's a C sharp? Nope, I don't see it. It seems okay. All right.
gonna go on and find another one here. Okay, here's a little Mozart piece right here. Um, and it's a Sonata from Sonata K five four four five seven I think. It's like bum 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 bum. Okay, all right. So looks like we're in the key of C minor, right? Because we have three flats and we have a C minor triad there, and at the end we have what looks like a, a G triad right here. Oh, maybe not. Um, G B. Oh, we changed up, E, G. So this is our five chord right there. It's definitely C minor. So again, flat six or the the note lay, solfege wise, is there. And so we're probably not going to see that. But we could look for sharp four. That would be F sharp. And we want to look at cadences where there's five chords coming up. So as we look through here, I'm not seeing anything. And we could go through and analyze all this stuff, but yeah. Let's just stay focused. There's an F sharp right there. Okay. Now, the F sharp and C here. That's uh could be the sharp four and the and the one from remember it's always gonna have flat six one and sharp four, right? But there's nothing else around it. There's there's it's it, it looks incidental. If you look at the if you look at this melody, let me get a pitch here for a minute. Um it's like Bum, bum, na, 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 na. It's like, it's just a chromatic um, neighbor tone, which he, he does a lot. So false alarm, right? Let's keep going here. I think this B flat here is just reminding us that, it, you know, it's not that anymore. Let's keep looking, let's keep looking, and let's look maybe for cadences. There's a nice cadence right there, it looks like. Yeah. Right? And uh, Fi So, Fi So, there's Lay or flat six right there, right? That's one. This is flat three. I think these are there to remind us because we've had other versions of them earlier with chromatic chords. And this is my sharp four. And what do we have? And, and look, we're going to a G, B, G, and a G, which is my five chord right there. Okay, so what do we have when we have flat six, one, flat three, and sharp four? That's a German augmented six. And again, it's right before my five chord. Um, does it happen again? Kind of. There's my A flat and C and F sharp. Uh, I guess this is an Italian, because it doesn't have any flat three in here, but it does have flat six, one, flat six, or one again, and sharp four and it goes to five, right? And then it looks like it's gonna do it one more time because it's down the octave, but it's the same thing right there. Italian augmented six, five, like that right there. Hope the camera was in focus enough. One more and then we'll be done. This packet is divided in, um, uh, like a bunch of Italian ones and a bunch of German ones. And then I think there's a French one or two in here as well. Let's, uh, let's maybe have a look. Um, sure, we'll look at Schubert, maybe, Schubert, right here, okay, uh, this one says C major, it might be, but it might not, it's a C major key here, but I'm seeing an A minor chord right there, right, A, C, E, so determining the key is really important, I suspect we're in A minor, okay, and do you see this? E, G sharp, B right there. And that's my E dominant chord with the harmonic minor seventh raised up there. That's definitely a five chord right there. This is a one, six, four. This is a five, seven. And a one, six, four into a five chord. And finally a one. Big cadence idea right there. Okay. This is a good place to look for. Let's think about this. If I'm in the key of A minor, then flat six is F. Okay. That equals flat six, right? And of course, A equals one, okay? And then sharp four, sharp four is gonna be B natural. Now, if we have nothing else, I reversed those, by the way I was talking. Uh, if we have nothing else, it's Italian. If we have a G, which is two, then it's French. And if we had um, like a, 
Let me think about this. What have I done here? A, C. I'm sorry, wrong. If we had a B, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing because I'm staring through the camera. B equals two and C natural, right? Nope, C flat, C, no, nope, C natural would equal three, flat three, okay? All right, anyhow, that means that really we're looking for, um, uh, I'm sorry, I've been thinking in the key of F here this whole time. This should be a D sharp, four, four. If this was a class, my students would go, you got this wrong, but I don't have that for feedback right now. Okay, anyhow, let's go looking before the cadence right here, right? Do we see a D-sharp? I see a D-sharp right there, okay? In fact, I see a D-sharp right there, although that may or may not be because it's phi, right? It could be, you know, there's one right there as well. Let's go backwards here because it's right before the five chord, okay? So I've got a D-sharp, check. I've got an F, that's my flat six, and that's my augmented six right there. A is one, and then there's a B smashed up into there, right? This is going to be a 2, which makes this a French augmented 6, right there, okay? Now, hmm, are the other things augmented 6 chords? Well, in order for that to happen, you have to have an F natural and a D sharp. I've got the D sharp, but I've got an F sharp. It's something else, right? And here as well, this looks like just like a neighbor in and out, right? What is this chord right here? Well, it's a B, D sharp, F sharp, and A. That's a B7 chord, right? That's my five of five, five, seven of five. The third's in the bass, so we could call this five, six, five of five, which means we should go to some kind of five chord, right? Which is an E chord, E, E, B, D, B, got an A, so it's a sus. So this is a five sus four. It's got a seven, five, seven sus four, right? And then it goes into the French and then comes back like that again. So whenever you find sharp four, that doesn't mean it's augmented for a uh, six chord. It could be another one because it could be a five of five. It could be a seven of five. It could be a lot of different things. And this, I don't think counts as anything right there. It's just a chromatic neighbor tone. But here we have one flat six two, and sharp four, it's French. All right, hope that helps you see not just what they are and where they are, but how we'd use all those pieces to be selective about it. Knowing those things helps us ignore this ocean of other notation. We can just go scanning for it. This gets more complicated when music's changing key or you're temporarily feeling like you're in a different key, but that's, that's a skill to be developed after you get this down first. All right, that's it.